On this episode of You Eat, we'll be making pizza dough, pizza sauce, and pizzeria quality pizza, featuring my new pizza steel. Hello everyone, and welcome to our 20th episode of You Eat. As usual, I am really excited to have you here, and I'm so excited that 2020 is in the past. I'd like to wish you and your family a happy new year, and today I'm gonna to be making some pizza. And I'm so excited about it because I got a new pizza steel. And a pizza, with a pizza steel or a pizza stone, you can make some pizzeria quality pizza. The steel is in the oven, it's preheated at 500 degrees for 45 minutes, and now we're gonna be making the dough, and then we're gonna make some pizza. Are you ready to make some pizza? Here we go. Print these and all our recipes on youeat.tv. We're gonna sanitize the countertop first. So to make the dough, we're going to start with bread flour, okay? You could use all-purpose flour, but you're not going to get the same consistency. I'm going to have two cups of, of warm water. So just run the water hot on your sink. You know, it'll get warm. Not too hot. You know, we just want to activate the yeast. Today, I'll be using Fleischmann's Rapid Rising Instant Yeast. You just want to mix that well together. Teaspoon of salt. I like to put two teaspoons extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna hand mix this, okay? And the ratio is gonna be three and a half cups roughly. So I'm gonna fill this up. This is two cups. We could add the third cup. Now, just three cups is going to give you kind of a moist dough. And then I'll just slowly add till I get a nice, bouncy consistency. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, I did clean the tabletop, so at this point, well, you can just take it out of the bowl. We're going to knead it. Okay? And you're going to feel if the dough is too moist, it's going to stick to your hands. So I'm going to get this dough off my hand. I'm going to rinse my hand real quick and we're going to start again. Okay, so I'm back. My hands are clean. Er, we're just, the dough is still kind of moist, but we're going, to, we're going to knead that into the center. And if I feel that's moist, I'm just going to add a little flour as I go. We'll throw it on the table on here a little bit. Because we want a certain consistency. Cooking is about certain types of consistencies. You can see it's sticking to my hand, right? So, We want it just to the point where it's not sticking to your hand. Now, we're going to refrigerate this. It's going to go right into the refrigerator. Now, if you want to use it quickly, you can just let it sit out for about 40 minutes at room temperature. You're just going to cover it. You're going to put it in a Tupperware and cover it and let it sit out, and it'll be ready in about 45 minutes by the time you heat up the pizza stone. I like to age my dough. Uh, I have some dough that I aged that one I made yesterday, and there's another one that I made three days ago. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make them all, except for this one, I'm gonna take this home with me. Now the consistency of the dough that you're looking for is when you touch it, it's gonna bounce right back up. Okay, so I'm just gonna portion this dough. Usually I cut it into three or two. I only have two containers, so I'm gonna just cut this down to two right now. And I'm just gonna, it's still a little bit, doughy so I'm just gonna fold this in maybe add a little more flour you just want to stretch the dough into the center and then you're gonna pinch the bottom do a little olive oil here cover and let it rise for 45 minutes if you're gonna use it today or I am going to just put this right in the refrigerator and let it age for a couple of days Sprinkle the table with a little flour. This is the dough that's been aging for three days. So I'm going to hand stretch this pizza out. It's going to add a little flour. We'll pat it down with our hands, make sure it's not sticking to the bottom, and we'll transfer it to the peel. We'll add some homemade marinara sauce. 
some sliced fresh mozzarella and pecorino romano cheese and we'll place that in the oven at 500 degrees for about seven to ten minutes okay we're gonna make some pizza sauce you can put this in a blender I like to crush it with my hand just make sure these are these are plum tomatoes uh, San Marzano I like to use um, you can use you know just regular plum tomatoes I like to crush them with my hand just make sure that the tomato is submerged under the juice so it'll start splattering see that I don't know if you caught that break it initially under the juice and then once you do that you can also put this in a processor if you like okay once we get that to the consistency that you like basically you're going to add a couple of ingredients and that's it we're going to put a teaspoon of oregano now you don't want to put a teaspoon of oregano we also could put a teaspoon of this perfect pinch Italian seasoning it has oregano basil margarine and uh, four other Italian herbs we're going to put about a half a teaspoon of salt And roughly, we're going to put a half, roughly a half a teaspoon of black pepper. A little olive oil. We're just going to mix that up. Got your pizza sauce. Time to take our pizza margarita out of the oven. And we'll just top our pizza with some fresh basil. With the pizza steel, you'll get a very crispy bottom. You'll hear it as I cut it. Pizza margarita. Look at that bread. Look at that dough. You want that air pocket. Okay, so I grated some cheese. I made the sauce. So I'm going to start with the sauce in the center of the dough. I want to make sure that the dough is not sticking to the peel. It does get heavier as you add the ingredients. I happen to like sauce, uh, so I kind of go heavy with the sauce. You want to leave a crust, right? So you don't want to go all the way to the edge. You don't want it. To go all the way to the edge because you don't want any sauce to go on your peel or well, then the pizza will come off. This is whole milk, low moisture, polio mozzarella cheese. I like I like heavy sauce like cheese. But most of the time you're gonna make pizza with less sauce and more cheese. However you like it. Sprinkle a little pecorino with mine on the top. I'm gonna pop this in the oven now. You want to make sure that your pizza can glide from the peel very easily and just very gently shake it off the peel onto the pizza steel. That'll take about seven to nine minutes depending on how crispy you like it. About halfway through the cooking process you're going to want to spin the pizza around and check the bottom. That looks good for me. You can cook it more but I'm going to take it out. Homemade Pizzeria Pizza. My next pizza is a homemade marinara sauce and mozzarella. We're going to mold this pizza dough. We're going to start out by adding a little bit of flour. We're going to pat it down a little bit and with our fingers we're just going to make a crust. And we're just going to gently push that out and we'll make sure that's not sticking to the bottom. We'll add a little flour to the table and we'll continue to push that out a little bit and keep that crust. I'm going to add that and transfer that over to the pizza peel. Most likely after transferring the dough to the peel, you're going to have to reshape your dough. You just want to pull out on the edges a little bit. Don't press too hard. You don't want the dough to stick to the peel. And you want to check that the dough does come off the peel and slides easily. 
Once you reshaped your dough, we're going to add the homemade marinara sauce, or the sauce of your liking. We'll sprinkle some Pecorino Romano cheese. And we'll add some sliced or pulled mozzarella cheese. I make this for my daughter. This one's her favorite. Don't forget to check that your pizza dough will slide easily off the peel. Doesn't that look delicious? You cannot get these kind of results without the pizza steel. Pizzeria quality pizza made at home. You eat? You want to eat? Make these recipes. They're all delicious. If you would like to pick up the pizza steel that we use today, go to yaeat.tv products.